there's a huge financial crunch coming in the funding of AIDS. It will be felt with a vengeance in 2011, 2012. The reasons are several. First, the international financial crisis means cutbacks. That's mostly economic hokum, but begrudging governments love to hide behind the economic downturn. Second, there's the curious flatlining of the Obama administration budget for AIDS, a surprising abandonment of the promises that were made during the campaign. Third, there's the need for more expensive drugs, drugs that are available only from brand name rather than generic manufacturers and therefore of higher cost. And finally, there are the new World Health Organization guidelines for treatment. The new WHO guidelines direct that treatment begin much earlier than before for those who require it in order to keep them alive. And that will mean a much larger number of people going into treatment. You see, under the old guidelines, there were 9 to 10 million people who require treatment now, and 4 million are getting it. That's less than 50%. Under the new guidelines, over 13 million will require treatment now, and only 4 million are getting it. That's less than 30%. For many, the shortfall, if you will forgive the bitter truth, can be summed up in one word, death. I'll deal with the funding alternatives tomorrow. I'm Stephen Lewis.